Hey Virgo, welcome back in. This is your bonus, guys. I remember that the previous reading, there were some, some things we were not able to connect to. So I promised a bonus. Let's dive in and see. Let's see what messages show up for you. Virgo, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. You know the rules, right? Let's dive in, Virgo. What's happening with you this week as you enter the new month? And your current energy. Virgo. Three of Cups celebrations. For a lot of you, this week is the week of celebrating something. Knight of Pentacles. Wow, money coming in. Celebrating some money coming in, Virgo. Very positive energy here. Hermit, devil. Okay, somebody is under burden in your surroundings. Burden of commitment, maybe. For some of you, I'm picking up that this person was lacking some guidance, which is eventually coming in. The devil is there, but uh, there is. For some of you, you might feel that you're in some side of some some sort of societal commitment. That's like a devil. That's like draining you off. Might get into a cocoon for a moment, but I see Knight of Pentacles, which is a very welcome relief, right? So, trust the divine situation, trust the divine interference here, intervention. And um, Knight of Pentacles is showing me that some sort of offer, some sort of money is going to be coming in. Three of Cups is showing me celebration here, right? So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what Tara has to say. What has to say? Tarot, what has to say? What Tarot has to say? Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> My tongue. Okay. So, some sort of happiness, celebration, reconciliation for few of you, dating for rest of you, meeting new people, going out, making friends. And uh, in that environment, a beautiful offer can come in. So overall, it's a very beautiful energy. Starting off with the Nine of Wands, I see Virgo that in this phase, you're letting go of your um, baggage. You're letting go of some sort of uh, um, guards, putting down the guards I'm picking up, right? Something that you've been carrying in the past. Two of Cups is the reverse position, bottom of the deck. Some connection has been a troublemaker and you were holding on to it. But some sort of release is happening this week. That's what I'm picking up. Right now, you're going through a phase of letting go. You're like, I'm not holding on to it any... I'm not holding on to it. I'm not holding on to any grudge. I'm not holding on to see lovers with the Queen of Pentacles. They both are coming out. For a lot of you, I see because of financial instability or because of financial or emotional instability, you were unable to make a decision or some sort of finances became the reason of you losing interest for somebody, for somebody or from somebody. I hope I'm making sense. I'm not talking very fast right now. But the downloads are coming in very quick. So you're putting down your guards. Okay, there's somebody who's watching you. In the previous reading also, I got the same energy. That was the first card I remember. Still, you can just go back and cross-check. <laughs> or I'm going to put the icon at the end of this reading, right? The link. Eight of Cups in the reverse position. There's somebody who wants to return and you're letting go of your guard. Maybe in the past you were guarded about accepting this person back. But this person is very passionate about you. And you might feel that, okay, I need to put the guards down and let them in. And wow, look at the magician. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that um, this person is watching you. They have their eyes on you. But you might feel that they're not really taking the action the way you want. So you might step up. I see you stepping up your game in this situation, really. You're stepping up your game with this person. Page of Pentacles. So, you're going to get a response if you're leveling up. A very interesting response or a reply to what you're manifesting here is going to be coming in. For someone specific, I'm picking up actual physical money. Somebody offering you money here. But then, you need to question something. For a lot of you, uh, <clears throat> Virgo, I see this week, you might have to stand up for yourself and set boundaries. So whosoever is responding to something, to you, I see you will have to set boundaries and you will have to ask questions. You will have to be very vocal and clear about your requirements to people. Right? Let's see. Wow. Okay. That's very interesting. Now, 
I'll show you something. I, I'm getting a very deep message. If you've been demanding for clarity, there's somebody who's passionate about you, right? Somebody who is very passionate about you. And uh, they're asking for something, but you have, you have to set boundaries here. If you demanded for something from some, someone or if you asked for something from someone, I do see the response coming and I do see the share also coming. But it's not what you expected. It might not be of the words that you were expecting. So you're going to set boundaries. You're going to give somebody clarity and you're going to stand up for your requirements. Very vocal and clear. Very clear energy, you know, talking clearly about something. You might feel that I need to cut this off, I need to cut the chase, I need to be vocal about it and you might end up avoiding this person because you have the magic, you have the manifesting power here. So you might end up ignoring this person and working alone. If you were working in some sort of partnership with them, you might end up deciding that, okay, I'm going to work alone, I don't want to work with this person anymore, right? So you might avoid this person. But then there's some sort of uh, doubt okay some information is getting revealed that's stressing you out and making you feel disappointed eventually okay for a lot of you work i'm feeling that this is this is possible like possibly a commitment or a contract and uh, i see star i see king of pentacles well there's a deep transformation happening in your surroundings if you're dealing with a particular earth sign or fire sign i see a lot of transformation taking place in your connection with them I see some societal obligation or a connection here. I see that you are looking for some information eventually and that's stressing you off a little bit and you might feel a little disappointed also. Right? Let's dive in. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see. Hanged man. Okay. For a lot of you, I see you might find yourself a little stuck in a situation. There was a situation that was not moving forward and you felt that, okay, there's no point of putting an effort into something that's not moving. I see you putting something down and you letting go of something. Ten of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Stuck. You might feel a little stuck in a situation. Hanged man. What do you want, King of Wands? Two of Wands? Okay. Now, whosoever this person is, Virgo, this person has decided to offer love to you. This person has decided to confess love to you. But there's a basic understanding here that this person is arrogant or this person is stubborn, right? Maybe they're not really that personality, but right now they're acting that way. You can take it that way also. So this person has some ego issues and they're little... Um, decisive but they have decided to make this offer they have decided to express you love they have decided to offer what they feel for you tell you what they feel for you two of swords four of swords and five of cups but there are some things that are not happening as per your expectations you might feel disappointed about that and two of swords four of swords is the energy where because you are not getting clarity on something and you're not able to decide so you might end up sitting quiet you might end up sitting quiet and for a lot of you i feel that you're feeling bad about something you're trying to manifest a change here but you're feeling bad about something what is this response eight of swords when this person reaches out to you and makes you the offer you might feel that okay this is not what i was looking for I don't know whether I should settle for this or not. Eight of Swords. I don't know whether I should settle for this or not. Two of Cups. Yes, there's love. Hmm. So somebody is in love with you and this is a very important connection. I see that the connection is... Somebody has a very really non-settling vibe here, Virgo. This person is very really passionate, very really excited, but they tend to be in and out sometimes. They have a problem with settling down. They have a problem with being settled. Six of Wands is showing me 
that there's a lot of ignorance and I wouldn't say ego clash but I see that this person comes in and then I'm not able to explain some behavior that they come in they're passionate sometimes and then they're ignorant they're proudy sometimes some behavior is definitely pissing you off here and you might end up uh, you know avoid, completely avoiding this person you might end up completely avoiding this person eight of pentacles tower magician page of swords for a lot of you i see something unexpected is going to happen some incident is motivating you to be more confident and take the charge if you have been eight of swords till now and you were in the thought process as you letting go being silent avoiding regretting being in the dormant state of mind from that to an active state of mind of being a magician looking forward standing up acting doing some things tower boom that is like a change here right that is a very positive change here page of swords wow page of swords twice in the knees of cups now there's a love offer coming in but you are skeptical Virgo. you're skeptical whether to accept it or not because honestly i see trust issues here Virgo. i see trust issues five of swords look at that nine of wands you got it in temperance this person has done something to you in past this person definitely has done something to you and I see your guards, you in the in the beginning you felt that I need to put my guards down, I need to give my 100%, I need to act, I need to do, but then, see, it's turning around. Intemperance is showing me that you're becoming guarded again and you're giving yourself time to heal because some sort of emotions have been triggered by this person and I see in the near future you might take some time off too. Heal. Why are you so disappointed here? What's what's the reason of disappointment? Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. I see this healing is bringing a beautiful transformation in you, Virgo. And uh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever has been the phase of emotions, whatever has been the phase of emotions you have been through, you're deciding that you need to be independent of something and come back to your power. Nine of Pentacles. Be what you are. Wow, a massive shift here. Massive shift in your energy. And coming back to your stability. Again, the offer is going to come in. And the offer is coming in. But be careful when you respond to that. And here, uh, you know, get some good advice before you reply to this offer. Five of Pentacles, negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. Fear surrounding money, reaching out to others for assistance. Poor timing for becoming self-employed. So some money issues are definitely are troubling you. But in the near future, eventually I see you coming back to your stable form, right? Six of Cups, children or childhood, revisiting old dreams and plans. Embracing your inner child. The, re the return of people or romances from your past and romanticizing how things used to be. So for a lot of you, I'm picking up um, a lot of past energy coming back. And it's not just about past people. It's about sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes we go through some phases in our life that we forget our real self. We forget how to nurture our real child, our inner child. So I see that some things are happening and there's a backtracking happening you're going back to basics you're going back to that time where you had dreams you had plans you were motivated you wanted to bring change i see you are taking the charge of your life of your emotions of your circumstances and i see there's a pushback happening if you were struggling with emotions work love money i see it's a pushback happening and you're taking the charge so nothing is beyond you Nothing is important than you. So if anything right now is a troublemaker or anything right now is causing this mess, I see you're going to fight back, going to gain your power back. And of course, I'm picking up that you're going to go back to your basics and uh, think why you started. I see a very different, different approach to deal with the situation now. 
you are going to be a different person and you're going to be dealing with with the situation in a very different way i see your past confidence is also coming back that is also something i heard so wow see criticizing one another is only going to lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform i see some struggles surrounding your relationship we have trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept your current situation it will automatically transform so do not fight something Virgo, I see that once you accept something, you'll be independent of it. You'll be able to take charge of your emotions and come back to your stability the way you are, your real self, your real power. Once you fight back something, right Virgo? So, pretty clear message. I see something being offered to you eventually. But if you're going to, whether you're going to take it or not, whether you're going to accept it or not, that is going to be depending on your past personality. I see that some of you have lost yourself or some of you have changed so much that now when you think about your past self, you feel that, oh my God, I'm such an amazing person. Why did I lose myself? Why, why did I lose my goals? Why did I lose my passions, right? I see some revisiting of past like that is happening and you're coming back to power, right? So I'm going to leave you here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.